What's going on guys? Welcome back to another audio assemble tutorial. Today we are going to be taking a look at how to use plugin presets in Pro Tools. So there are two reasons that I personally really like to use presets. Uh, one is I just like the sound that I got with that plugin and I really want to keep hold of those settings and I want to make sure that I can use it again in a later session. And then the second one is actually kind of related to the first. You want consistency. So where would you want consistency? Say you're working on an album or an EP and you want to maintain a certain sound. It's a lot easier when you can just pull up a preset of a plugin rather than having to completely find how you made that sound initially or having to jump back to the other session, write the settings down, and then pull them up again in the new session. You can just use a preset to pull them in from another session. So the way you go about saving a preset is Let's scroll down here and pull this one up. You pull up the plugin, obviously, and then you come here to the section above the plugin itself. So you see this factory default. This is where any presets can be pulled up that are that are already saved. And so the way you go about saving a new one is you go to this presets right above it, click the down arrow, and you can click save settings, save settings as. Uh, whenever you're saving a new one, save settings is fine, but if you already have a preset pulled up and you click save settings, you will be overwriting the preset that you already have. So you'll want to hit save settings as when you already have a preset up and you're wanting to save a new one so you don't overwrite previously stored presets. So we'll hit save settings and you can see where it saves it. It goes to your computer, documents, pro tools, plugin settings, and then the wave shell AAX and we'll just do this as kick out click save and here you can see that it's saved in the preset there so it's the same thing with the save settings as it saves it in the exact same place the exact same way save settings as do this one kick in and boom you see that there so if I wanted to pull up the the kick in on the kick out i can just come over here click kick in and now you can see the eq's change that that will affect the sound and i can just go back to the other one with clicking kick out now another way to get a presets information or a plugins information from one to another is if you go down you see here it's got the copy and paste settings so we can copy these settings go over to kick in and let's hit paste settings and you see it pulls up all of the settings that I just had from the kick out. But we're going to go back to the kick in. Another way to pull up a preset is if you go back to a plugin, go to presets, you can click import settings. And this lets you actually scroll through every single preset that you have saved. You can use this to pull in presets from, uh, say you have them saved on a thumb drive from another computer, or perhaps you saved it in another session and we're wanting to just pull it from there rather than having saved it in the Waveshell AAX or wherever your plugin stored it initially. Another really cool thing you can do with presets is if you go into the preset section again, you can change what the default is when you initially pull the plugin up. So when you pull it up, it's going to come in as the factory default, and then you're going to have to go in, change what it is to the kick in, kick out, whatever it is you want to have. But another way to go about it is say you have an EQ, a basic EQ that you like to have on every single channel. You can go to setting preferences, set plugin default to, and then user setting. Now it doesn't set the user setting as this one initially you have to go into presets and click set as user default and then that will make this the eq whenever you pull it up initially so let's try that real quick preset set as user default close this one and let's open up another eq q6 and you see it pulls this one up as the basic go-to preset Another thing you can do with the setting preferences is if you go in here, save plugin settings too. You can choose to continue to save them to the root settings folder. That is where all of the presets are stored, or you can save it in the session folder itself. This is great if you're not wanting to flood your storage with all these presets, or you only want to keep a couple few presets saved. If you have it in the session folder, you can use it to import into other sessions that are saved for an album or an EP where you're wanting to have those sounds, but you're only going to ever use those sounds for that EP or album. 
That way, when you delete all of those, if you ever get rid of the sessions, you are getting rid of the presets as well, and you're not taking up any more of your storage space. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found all this helpful. Make sure you leave a like and comment down below. Tell us what you want to see in the future. And make sure you subscribe. We've got a lot more of this content along the way. As always, check out audioassemble.com for all the latest reviews and comparisons.